Annyeong Haseo. I'm sorry I can't be with you this evening, but I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the network of Korean American leaders on bringing together so many distinguished Asian American leaders for this celebration. As Secretary of Commerce, I'm proud to serve as one of three Asian American cabinet members in President Obama's administration, the most in any administration, and as the co-chair of the White House Initiative on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. My grandfather came to this country from China. He worked as a servant for a family in the state capital of Olympia, just one mile from the governor's mansion that I would occupy 100 years later as the first Asian American governor on the mainland. Our family jokes that it took our family 100 years to travel one mile. But our family history is similar to that of many of you. Indeed, it is the story of America. And I married a successful Asian American television journalist who's also the daughter of immigrants. I applaud the important role that NetCal is playing in developing and connecting Korean American leaders from various fields. And I was pleased to support the appointment of three Korean American leaders including Super Bowl MVP Heinz Ward, who were sworn in this week as members of the President's Advisory Commission on AAPIs. When the full diversity of our nation is represented, our decisions are better informed, because we're able to bring to bear the full measure of our nation's talent, experiences, and intellect. At the Department of Commerce, we're focused on spurring innovation and entrepreneurship to drive economic growth and job creation. And by the way, our new Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship is led by a Korean American leader who's also a NetCal fellow. We're also leading the administration's efforts to achieve the president's ambitious goal of doubling exports over the next five years, creating millions of new jobs. And in this role, I look forward to working with our United States Trade Representative, Ambassador Kirk, on addressing the issues around the Korea-U.S. Free Trade Agreement. Again, thank you for your service to the Korean American community, and congratulations and best wishes for a most successful and productive summit.